Hey, little leaders, let's get started. So we're going to start by standing in your attention stance. Attention means you're paying attention, you're focused, you are ready to learn and rock this class. Okay, so ready face front, strong bow. All right, from there, we're going to point to our ear and say, I'm a good listener. Make a strong muscle, say, I'm a hard worker. Stand in attention stance, say, I'm a leader, sir. All right, little leaders, my name is Mr. Mershad, and you might know that because you've been going through some of these online classes, but we're going to work on something uh, called a jumping jack. I made this up in 1997. I'm just kidding. It's older than that, but we're going to do a jumping jack. So as we do a jumping jack, there's two parts. We've practiced this before. Two hops. I hop and bring my hands and feet out. Hop, bring them together. You know how to do it already? Okay, do 10 with me and see if you can do it exactly the same time as Mr. Mershad. Ready? 10 of them. Go. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir, eight, sir, nine, sir, ten, sir. Very good. All right, little leaders. So the first thing I need to know is do you know your three listening positions? Your three listening positions. It's the way you stand in different positions, okay? So if you know them, practice them with me. If you don't know them, well, follow along with me. So feet together like this. This is listening position number one. So if I'm doing something, we're kicking, we're punching, whatever, and you hear the teacher say, listening position number one. We lock in that attention stance like a soldier. All right, that's listening position number one. Listening position number two is one knee up, one knee down. Notice I'm sitting up very tall. I look very professional, okay? So I'm not sitting back on my foot. I'm sitting up very tall. So one knee in the air, one knee on the floor. Show me listening position number two. That's this one. All right, who knows listening position number three? Listening position number three is sitting with your legs crossed, hands in your lap like this, paying attention to the teacher, right? All right, so this is listening position number three. This is listening position number two. And this is listening position number one. So your first drill that here is to go through those when I say the name of them, okay? So here we go. All right, so I want you to show me listening position number two. Which one was that? Listening position number two. You should be one knee on the floor, one knee up looking at me. All right, listening position number three. How about number three? Same with your legs crossed. All right, and listening position number one. All right, very good. So if you have one, right here, two on a knee and three sitting down, then you'll be ready for this game, okay? So here's what's gonna happen. This is called the circle of focus. Can you say circle of focus? And you gotta do your eyebrow like this, your eyebrow up, you know, it's the circle of focus. Here's how this works. I'm gonna take my feet like this and I'm gonna go side to side. I'm gonna make a circle one way. Once I get back to where I was started, I'm gonna go the other way like this. And when Mr. Mershad says listening position number whatever, you're gonna show it to me. Then I'm gonna say, keep going. All right, so you're gonna go around the circle one way, around the circle the other way. Let's see how many of you can do this the whole time without quitting. Ready, set. I'll do the first couple with you so you can see. And go, we're circle of focus. Here we go, listening position number one. And keep going, going the other way now. Listening position number two, wherever you are, whatever way you're facing, that's what you're gonna do. Good, hop back up, keep going. Listening position number one. Good, keep going, going back, big circles. Good, keep going, keep going. Listening position number three. Don't fall down, oh my goodness, careful there. You're gonna scare somebody. All right, go ahead and hop up, keep going. So circle around, circle, circle, circle. Listening position number one. Good, and keep going, circle, 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 around one way, around the other way. Keep moving, keep moving, listening position number one. All right, good, keep going. Around one way, around the other way, listening position number two. One knee up, one knee down. Good, we have two more, ready, keep going. Hop around one way, hop around the other way, listening position number three. Good, then hop back up, keep moving around, and around, and around, listening position number three. All right, good job, little leaders. You can stay there because we're now gonna go ahead and do our stretches. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the camera and let's stretch it out. Hey, little leaders, did you know that stretching your legs really good is what makes you one day an amazing black belt, okay? Because black belts who work really hard, they have really high kicks, and then if you don't work really hard, then your kicks don't really go really high. So do your very best right here to work on being a good black belt one day. So put your legs up, down straight, keep them together, toes up, and what we're gonna do is reach for as low as you can, hold your head down as low as you can for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, a little bit lower. Five, four, three, head down, two, one. Good job. Take one leg. You're going to kind of lean to one side. Bring your other leg around behind you and then sit up straight. 
Now I have one leg straight and one leg bent, and look how far away my knees are from each other. That's what I want. I don't want my knees to be close, because then I'd fall over to the side, okay? Now, take your chest and lean it towards your knee, then take both hands and see if you can put them on top of your toes. We're gonna hold this for 10 seconds. Try to go a little bit lower with your nose as we count down. Ready, 10, nine, eight, seven. You should be looking at your leg right now. Six, five, four, three. I can't go any lower, two, one. Awesome job, let's switch. Other side. I know I could sing that high. Here we go, the knees away from each other. Lean your chest forward, lay your hands over your toes for 10, nine, eight, seven six five four three two one and switch no not switch both legs we're gonna put both legs out all right now very similar similar means like the same as our hurdler stretch the last ones we did we're gonna take one we're gonna lean our ear towards our leg bring the hand over take this hand over our head and hold this this is hard but we're gonna do it for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one good job all right we're gonna go the other way so again first you're gonna lean reach this hand over bring this hand over your head keep your eyes on me for ten nine eight seven six five a little bit lower four three you're doing great two one i'm proud of you guys that's hard that's a really hard stretch okay now from here we're gonna stretch down in the middle we're gonna do this in stages though so challenge level one how many of you can put one whole thumb down the middle is that hard? No. Two thumbs. It's like two thumbs down. All right, two thumbs are down. All right, now this is where it gets kind of hard. I want you to do two thumbs and one elbow. Uh-oh, uh-oh, is this getting harder? How about two thumbs and two elbows? Oh, my. How about two elbows and two whole hands? That was loud. All right, all right. I'm going to get a little bit harder here. You ready? We're going to stretch this forward and see if you can touch your hair. I'm going to reach my hands here, down to the floor. Oh, I barely got my hair. Can your hair touch the floor? If it can't, hold as low as you can for five more seconds. Four, three, hold it down. Two, one, last one is butterfly stretch. And since I'm all in black, I've got the black butterfly going on, flying around the room. What color is your butterfly, little leaders? Is it pink? Okay, all right, blue. We have a rainbow, okay. All right, good stretches. It is time to hop up and do the next part of class. Good job, let's do it. Hey, little leaders, all right, let's do this drill. So for this, you need a small pillow. Stuffed animal will work. Anything small that's soft, because if you land on it, you don't want to hurt yourself or uh, you trip and fall or anything like that. So something soft. I'm going to give you 10 seconds, okay? Or you can pause the video to go and get it. And what we're working on here is we're working on good jumps and good balance. We're going to work on three different kinds of jumps, okay? And we're going to work on that over the pad, so they're going to be forward jumps, okay? So we're not gonna jump backwards, we're not jumping sideways. Okay, very important, we're gonna jump forward and we're gonna come back around to the back, okay? So another few seconds to give you to get your pillow or target or something you can jump over, something soft. All right, good. These are called little leader leaps. Can you say little leader leaps? Little leader leaps, can you say it three times fast? <laughs> it's hard to say, little leader leaps. So leaping, we're gonna jump over this, okay? Two different kinds. The first, or three different kinds, I'm sorry. The first way is one leg at a time. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one leg over, skip to the other leg, okay? But it's gonna be a little bit harder than that because from there, I'm gonna land with a high block punch. So watch, I'm gonna go up with one leg, switch to the other leg, high block punch. I'm gonna come back around to the back. Then I'm gonna try the other one, up with one, switch with the other, high block punch. So it's like the older kids, they do a skipping kick that's kind of hard, it's kind of like that. So I go up with one, then this leg's gonna land. As the other one comes up, I step forward, high block punch. I'm gonna set the timer, Make sure you do one leg the next time you pick up your other leg first. All right, ready, set, and go. Up, switch, high block punch, and come back to the back. Then we're going to go up, switch, high block punch to the other side. Good, then go back. Up, switch, high block punch, then come back. Then go up, switch, high block punch. You have five, four, three, two, one, and good. All right. Woo, we're gonna go to the harder version of that. So now, same idea. We're gonna try to do what the older kids do. It might not work. It's okay if you fall down, but we're gonna go up with one, switch, kick with the other, high block punch. 
I know this is hard. Okay. The reason it's hard is because I got to work on my balance. So I go the other side. Now I go up with one knee. I'm going to hop and switch to the other one. Kick high block punch. Now notice I'm not trying to jump very high right now. Okay. So I go up, switch, kick, high block punch. Good. Let's go. Keep going. Here we go. Up, switch to the other one, kick, high block punch. Doing great. Doing great. Keep it up. 10 more seconds. Up, switch, kick, high block punch. Good. Keep going. You got a couple more seconds. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're done with level two. But here's the deal, gang. Level three is where it's at. Okay. So what we're going to work on from here is a flying, leaping jump. Okay. So I'm going to start off very close. You can see I'm very close to this thing. Okay. I'm going to bend both knees, bring my hands behind me. Then as I jump forward, I'm gonna bring my hands forward like this, okay? And then from here, I'm gonna punch one, two, three, four, then come back around. Well, that was kind of easy. Now I'm gonna take a step back. Every time I do this, I'm gonna take one step back. So I'm jumping farther and farther every time. Now, if I can't jump it, if it's too far, just get closer again. Ready? Here we go. And go for it. Jump over and punch one, two, three, four, get back. I'm gonna back up a little bit more. Bend your knees, jump over and one, two, three, four. I'm jumping even further now. Oh my goodness, I'm really far away. Bending, jump, one, two, three, four. Good, keep going. Back up a little bit more if you can. Here we go, bend, both legs jumping. We have 10 seconds left. Don't stop for 10 seconds. Nine, how far can you jump? Seven, whoops, I skipped a couple. Six, five seconds. Don't stop, more jumps, further jumps, higher jumps. Four, three, Two, don't forget your punches. One and done. You guys should have really strong legs, strong kicks, strong high blocks, and amazing punches by now. Great work, little leaders. Let's go on to the next part of class. So for this drill, you're gonna need a soft pad of some sort. So I'm gonna give you time if you need to go get something. If you don't have something in the room with you, go ahead and get one. Uh, it could be a headgear if you have a set of sparring equipment. It could be a pillow. It could be a pad of some sort. Something soft so if you hit it and it goes somewhere, it won't hurt anybody or break anything, okay? So go ahead and get that. I'll give you some time here. Don't worry, don't freak out. And while you're getting it, I am gonna explain the drill a little bit though, okay? So I'm gonna hold the pad in one hand. My other arm is gonna do a drop elbow. But what I want to try to do is let go of the pad with one hand before the other arm touches, okay? So I don't want to be touching it with one hand and touching it with the other arm. I want to try to let go at the right time, so I hit it. If I let go too soon, what's going to happen? I'm not going to hit anything, right? So my goal is to hit it after I let go, okay? Then I'm going to grab the pad, get back up, and do it again, okay? So again, I'll give you another second or two. If you don't have a pad yet, go ahead and get one. We're gonna use just one arm for now, then we'll switch when time is up, okay? So let's reset my timer here. So again, you're gonna hold it with one arm. Arm is up like a punch to the ceiling. Let go just a little second before that elbow drops down, hit it, pick it back up, and then do it again. Here we go, ready? And go for it. Use one arm, pick up the pad, hold it, drop elbow again. Try not to hold it and hit it at the same time. You wanna let go, then hit it, okay? It's kinda hard to do, but that's what we're working on is timing of this drill. Good. Already halfway there. Keep it up. Keep it up. Pick it up. Lift. Drop it down. Good elbow strikes. Keep it going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Almost there. 2, 1, and time. Good job. Let's switch arms. Now the other arm is up. I'm going to drop that elbow down. Boom. And make the pad hit the floor. Pick it up. And then do it again. Ready. Timer reset. And go for it. Hold. Drop that elbow down. Pick up the pad, keep on going, boom. Good, keep it going, don't quit. I'll tell you when to stop. That's it, that's it, that's it. Keep going, almost halfway there on this side. You're supposed to be working. If you're not sweating, you're not doing it right. Keep going, 15 seconds to go, you got it. So big, strong, boom, elbows. Again, try to hit it before, or hit it right after you let go. We have, oh, only five seconds, five, four, three, two, one more second. Time, good job. All right, you can go ahead and put that away. So for this drill, you're gonna need to know four different moves. Really, it's only kind of two moves, but that's okay. All right, so what we need to be able to know is a backwards elbow and a downward elbow. It's the same move, boom, boom, okay? Uh, so we need to know those two moves, and so we'll practice those. And then we also need to know a knee strike, and we need to know a front kick, okay? So first, we're gonna do the reverse elbow. So take your hand here like you're punching and bring it back like that, okay? Pretend there's a board right here and you're smashing the board, okay? So I'm here, boom, one, two, 
three. Now, the same movement down, okay? So bring it down, one, two, three. Looks like you're grabbing something off a tree and pulling it. All right, let's do our other arm, ready? And one, two, three, coming down, one, two, three. All right, very good. Now, knee strike and front kick. So there's a knee strike in every front kick, but not necessarily a front kick in every knee strike. So when I do a front kick, I lift my knee up like this, and then I kick. But we're just going to do the knee strike. So lift that knee up one, lift that knee up two, lift that knee up three. Other side, lift your knee up one, lift your knee up two, lift your knee up three. Now, a front kick is a forward attack. So I'm not kicking up. I'm actually lifting my knee and pressing forward. Like I could push a door open with a soft front kick, right? So I lift, push, pull back. Let's do that. Ready? Lift one. Lift again. Two. One more time. Three. Other leg. Ready? Lift your knee and kick one. Lift your knee and kick two. Lift your knee and kick three. All right. Very good. Now, whenever you see the red pad pop up, you're going to do one of your elbow strikes, okay? Whenever you see the black pad pop up, you're either going to do your knee strike or your front kick. It's going to depend, though, on how I hold it. So if I hold the red pad like this, that would be for the backwards elbow. But if I hold the red pad like this, that would be for the downward elbow. If I hold the black pad like this, that would be for the knee strike. If I hold the black pad like this, that would be for the front kick. Okay? So... What I'd like for you to do is do one leg or one arm each time, but try to make sure you let your other side take a turn. So use your right leg for some, left leg for some, right arm for some, and left arm for some, okay? So let's practice these one at a time. Ready? So first, this one. That would be the reverse elbow. So hit that one, two. Good. All right, you can do one or two, I guess. It doesn't matter to me. All right, ready? How about this one? Downward elbow, one, two. Good. Then what was this one? That was knee strike, knee strike. Very good. And then what about this one over here? Front kick, front kick, okay? So if you can get two, that would be great. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get closer so you can see me. All right, ready? And there, what do we have? That should be the backwards elbow, backwards elbow. Very good. All right, what about this one? That would be what? Knee strike one, knee strike two. Very good. Front kick, front kick. Let's see this one. Downward elbow, downward elbow. Very good. Try to get two. If you get one with each arm, that'd be cool. Here we go, ready? Backwards elbow, backwards elbow. Good. Knee strike, knee strike, knee strike, knee strike. I guess that was too fast. I'll slow down. Okay, I'll slow down. Here we go. Ready? Front kick one, front kick two. Backwards elbow one, backwards elbow two. Downward elbow, downward elbow. You saw that one coming. Okay, okay, okay. How about that one? Knee strike one, knee strike two. Good. Front kick one, front kick two. All right, we're going to go a little bit faster now. Here we go. Ready? And downward elbow, downward elbow. Knee strike, knee strike. Backwards elbow, backwards elbow. Front kick, front kick. Front kick, front kick. Too fast. You can do it. Whoops. This way. Downward elbow, downward elbow. Backwards elbow, backwards elbow. Two more. Here we go. Front kick, front kick. And last one. Knee strike one, knee strike two. All right. I would know it was kind of fast, but you guys are kind of needing a challenge right now. You guys did a great job. Let's go to the next drill, okay? All right. So who crushed it in class today? It was you. Awesome job, awesome job, awesome job. We cannot wait to see you back on the mat or in person classes and earning those stripes as well as your online classes. Keep it up. Super proud of you guys. Good job. Go rest.